Rescue crews are scanning the half mile wide mudslide site at this hour, continuing to sift through the remains of entire neighborhoods. Oh my gosh. This eyewitness was driving when the mudslide hit and captured the aftermath on his cell phone. I just saw the darkness. That's all I could see. Everything from one side completely in the other side. Sad sensation. Basically, everything is gone. Recent heavy rains caused the groundwater saturation that triggered the river of mud, trees, and rocks that officials say came out of nowhere. At least three people are dead and more than a dozen injured. Evacuation orders were issued last night, and at least 18 people remain unaccounted for. Travis Hotz is the Snohomish County Fire Chief. I was up there most of yesterday afternoon. I was at awe. It reminded me of the video that we saw when Mount St. Helens erupted. Trees laying over on their side, massive mud debris. This is substantial. Robin Youngblood's home was caught in the middle of it all. There is no way with what we went through that we should be alive, let alone with only a few bruises. The debris also blocked the flow of the North Fork of the Stillaguamish River, creating a severe flooding threat. And tonight, there's word rising water is slowly breaking through the dam. We do want to ask people to remain in a state of heightened awareness because there is not total predictability about how this river is going to behave. We're at a checkpoint near the mudslide where law enforcement is only allowing people in who want to check on their property or loved ones. Everyone else is being kept out. That's how precarious this situation is. Those people who have been displaced by the slide, though, are getting help from the Red Cross. They have set up two shelters in the area. All right, that was Lee Stoll of CBS affiliate Cairo. Thank you. With the danger of more flooding looming, we want to bring in Eric Fisher now. He's chief meteorologist at our affiliate WBZ. Eric, what is next in the Pacific Northwest? Uh, Jeff, still a developing situation here where we have a flash flood watch out for Snohomish County. And along the Stillaguamish River, there's a flash flood warning. And you have all this debris from the mudslide itself, and it's in the way of that river. Eventually, that debris is going to let go. And they're expecting flooding as far south downstream as Arlington. The Weather Service here says they're not expecting catastrophic flooding. They just want to make sure everyone is in a safe spot, and at least minor flooding can be expected when that releases. The storm pattern has gone from dry to very stormy in just the last couple of months. Seattle, Jeff has picked up nearly 14 inches of rain the last two months, more than double what they would normally expect. Meanwhile, back farther east, more cold weather, another storm on the way? Another storm on the way and a lot of cold. That's the guarantee. High temperatures into late March 20s in Buffalo and Boston, below the freezing mark in New York City. We will be watching a strong nor'easter that's going to develop. This one a little bit farther to the east. They might not be looking at widespread impact, but where it brushes the coast, we will be tracking some snow, perhaps from North Carolina, right on up toward down east Maine. The biggest potential, southeastern Massachusetts, sticks out in the ocean, Jeff, and blizzard conditions not out of the question by Wednesday morning. Eric Fisher, thank you very much.